Hi everyone, welcome back to Get Ready With Me Louise. I'm excited, we're, we're coming, we're getting closer to the end of the motherships. Um, I'm on mothership, what was this one? Seven, it's the Divine Rose, and it looks like this. So beautiful. It really is, it, it's just stunning. So, I'm excited because this is a pretty, I mean, it's not, I don't want to say it's basic because it's not basic. I mean, it's Pat McGrath, you know, it's not basic. But in the realm of what you would consider an everyday palette, this is probably the one that's an everyday palette. So, let's go ahead and get started and we'll talk. So, the first shade I'm going to go into is... Veluria, Veluria. I guess I'm saying that right. Who knows? That's the other thing. It's like, why can't A, palettes have easy names? And then B, why can't, like, and you know how some will put it on, like, the back of a palette and you don't know which way you're reading it from? Like that. Like, why can't it just be easy? <laughs> because, like, every brand is different, too, so you really don't know unless you... I mean, I guess you could research, but, man, that would take a lot of time. Plus, it's like, do you really care about the name, in a sense? I do, but I don't, you know what I mean? I mean, I do so that I can tell you all, but, like, just... If I'm putting on my makeup, I'm not pulling out this card and going... Oh, the color I'm putting on my eye is this, you know? I don't know. I find it a little frustrating, to say the least. But I have a friend here, so I'm dealing with that. I'm dealing with a lot of friends, really. I don't quite understand, but we are where we're at. This color, you can also see that it, it can be very sheer or it can build up for sure. And honestly, like all of the palettes, formula is great. Now, I didn't do what, like if I'm using this palette for like an everyday look, air quotes. I mean, this is not the, like this isn't it. Like, that's not, like, generally I wouldn't have that lid color. But because I really wanted to show that particular shade to you, is why I did it. Generally, though, I wouldn't go with that shade. I mean, I would, because I really do like it. But I'm saying that, you know, if you were just going for an everyday look, you probably wouldn't. But everybody has their own idea of what every day is but because I know that some people wear color every day so and I and I think that's great you know some people can pull it off I can't some color I can pull off but for the most part I can't really pull off too much color because I just don't have that eye Like, for real, y'all. I mean, do you even know how long it took me to just to try to figure out shadows? And I still don't have it. You know what I mean? Like, because everybody... Oh, the next shade I'm going to go into is Extreme Mahogany. Because, like, when you're watching a tutorial, too, it's like everybody's eye shape is so different that... It really does make it hard because people's like oh we'll place it here and I'm like but that's not my eye shape you know so you really do have to consider your own eye shape when you know doing your makeup just like your face I mean somebody could be like oh you put contour right here but what if you're that's not you know what I mean or trying to say I don't know. 
and I'm sure that some places it's easier to do makeup than others. Like where I'm at, there's not that much makeup. There's not. I mean, it's kind of sad, really, because I'm like, I think people would enjoy it. I think it would bring color. <laughs> I don't know. There's just, or maybe I'm just not around people that do. I don't know. I mean, obviously, people wear makeup. That's not what I'm saying. But, like, not bright and colorful for sure. Like, I hardly ever see that. And then, I mean, you have the ones that are wearing the mascara and stuff like that, but never really a nice... Like, you don't just see, I mean, eye looks, I guess, is where I'm coming from. I don't see that. But if I do, I make sure to say, hey, I really like your eye look. Because, like, I think that's great. Like, I'm sure if you're in other cities, bigger cities or something, like, you probably see a good bit. flawless makeup and stuff but like where I'm at I don't see much of it of course I don't get out of the house very often so that could be you know part of it too for sure because I just don't but I mean you can see how pretty neutral this palette is is and that's why I do feel like she did need this in her line in a sense because like the other ones definitely had neutral colors like the first one had the you know cool tones and stuff and the second one but that not like a uh, there was always like that pop up bright bright color you know what I mean <clears throat> which there's nothing wrong with I absolutely adore it completely completely adore it And like my eyes are two different shapes. I just have issues all the way around, don't I? I can complain about everything, I suppose. All right, I'm going back into that first shade and we're gonna lower, we're gonna run it on the lower lash line. And then I just popped a brown liner in my, line, in my water line. It was fitting for this look. I was almost going to do brown uh, mascara too because I thought it would look, it really would look nice with this particular palette if you had a nice brown mascara. second shade and I'm gonna run it right on the lash line or right below it I mean the water line on the bottom To go into the shade Rose Dusk and I'm gonna pop that right on my lid on the outer part of it and kind of like run it right around the lid 
and I didn't get it wet. It's a satin. But it's a very, it's a pretty, it is really pretty. And like, I could have put this all over my lid and it would have been a little more neutral. You know what I mean? But, you know, that's not me. Like, I want to show you the best parts of the palette to me. Which, it, it, this is a, you know, a good part and all. But like, I want the bam, you know? I don't know why, but I do. Alright, then we're going to go into the shade VR Rose Venus. And I really adore this shade because here's the thing. It kind of looks orange, but it's got like this pink. It's like a, I don't know. It's kind of got like a pink undertone to it, depending on how you're looking at it and how the light hits it. Like it's, it's like an gold, orange, pink. I don't know. Like it's just so pretty. But I'm, I'm going to put that like pretty much on three-fourths of the lid and then just blend in put that other shade back into it and I didn't put anything down I didn't spray it or anything like that so if you did it would make it twice as in your face <laughs> to say the least to me though this just looks like a sun sunsetting or rising really but it looks like the sun it's so pretty i just adore that shade that's why i had to use it i was going to go like i said for more of a basic look but i just couldn't like i had to had to throw it in there Okay. This really isn't the best look I've done, to be honest. When I rush, I don't do as well, to say the least. But at the same time, it's like I don't want to hold everybody up. Because I know how slow I can be. And it can be slow. I just want to make sure I got that blended in good. All right. Then I went into Refined Gold 002. Not quite for sure why I did that. Because I knew deep down that this was going not going to be a, a good inner corner for me. It's just a little bit too dark. Even though I love this yellow. It's like a very pale yellow. Or gold, I mean. But I still knew, technically, it wasn't going to work. But I wanted to try it. So then I just went into Astral S Sol Solstice. Which is the shade that's kind of like, it makes it look wet. And I'm not wetting it. But do be careful with this shade. It is a special shade, so it's quite flaky. And it will go everywhere if you let it so keep that in mind and I popped it in the inner corner on top of that gold to sort of lighten it and give the brightness that it needed and then for the liner like I said I put a brown liner it is I think this is Sunny Veil by Colourpop okay here's the thing between <laughs> stuff being so small that you can't see it or words that you can't pronounce or you don't know which direction to pronounce it I just don't even understand why name it <laughs> I mean for real like why name it would be my next thing and then I put on my Pat McGrath mascara for the top lashes and I didn't, you know, really build this up because, yeah, it's a little more than an everyday look for sure. But 
I didn't want it to be like an over the top look either, you know, so I just didn't really build up the mascara. I kind of just like coated it on um, the other eye, so I'm going to do the same on this eye. try anyway my lashes just everything's just not working for me I don't understand my face is breaking out and like I haven't really well actually you know what I haven't had I've been taking the um vital is it vital protein vitamin the collagen or whatever that is and I ran out, and I'm wondering if that ain't got something to do with it. But my lashes are just being really weird anymore. And I'm still using the Grande. And if I stop, they all just fall out, so I can't do that. But I'm wondering if, like, maybe if, you know how, like, if you take something or if you do something, like, your body gets used to it or your skin gets used to it. I'm wondering if my lashes have gotten used to it now and, like, it ain't helping it as well as it did in the beginning. Like, it's not hurting it, but it ain't helping it, so to say, you know? I'm using the land comb on the bottom. And again, not really building that up. Because I did, I really did want it to be an everyday look. But at the same time, if I'm going to show you a $129 palette, I better show you at least some of the best shades in it, you know? At least that's my opinion on it. Like, if somebody's going to show me something, then I guess show me in a sense. But I can only show you from a non-professional point of view, a consumer point of view, I guess. And I did have lipstick on, but it came off. So let's put a little bit of something on. Let's, I've been going through my collection. Let's put this back up. I know you can't purchase it any are. But let's just put a little bit. Just to give me some color. This is definitely brighter than I thought it would be. It's not quite. It's called a... What is this called? It's just the baby. It's called Rosewood. And I thought it'd be... Lighter? I don't know how to explain it. Like, if you've ever purchased, like, a Rosewood from another brand, it's not... This is more red to me, but mm -mm. I don't know. It's good enough. It's not about the lips anyway. Although I do like the Becca lipstick, I will say that. I mean, I know they're out of business, and I got a ton of them. You know, I got the Chloe and Malika collection somewhere in this mess of stuff. But anyway, this is the final look using the uh, Divine... Rose. <laughs> I'll get it out. See, this side looks so much different than this side. Does it not? What did I do? I used the same colors. Huh. I don't know why it looks so different to me, but anyway, that's the look. Um, so next is the Divine Rose 2. And then Utopia, and we're done the motherships. And then I get to rank. Oh, that's gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard. I don't know, man. <laughs> Y'all, I just don't know. It's gonna be hard for me. Let me know though when we get to the end when I do the ranking. Let me know your favorite though, but not now. You guys think about it. And then if you all own them, let me know what your number one is. Because I think I know what my number one is, but after sort of playing in them again, I kind of don't know. I'm kind of like up in the air. But I do really like this palette, so I'm 
course number everybody knows how I feel about the midnight sun oh the midnight sun is so nice but anyway that's all I got for you today I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe ring the bell hit all that in a way you're notified when I do upload um of course I got to finish up the motherships and then I do have the six pan palettes and the four pan palettes but I'm wondering should we take a pack a break from Pat McGrath and go to like a different brand or should I just stick with this brand finish it completely out and then go to a different brand like I'm curious to know what you all think if I should like mix it up with the brands or just stick to one brand until you're done it because like I've got almost all the Urban Decay palettes Too Faced um I got quite a few of the NARS uh of course I've got all the Natasha Denona palettes except for one of the five pan ones that she released for Christmas. But I have the rest of them. Um, what else do I have? Let's see. The first two drawers there. Those two are Pat. I have Too Faced. I've got Glam Light, Bobby Brown, Lancome, Mestay Lauder. I got a couple of Dior, a couple of Chanel. So let me know. What do you think? Let me know how you would do it if you, you know, had a choice. Would you just stick with one brand until it's done or would you kind of mix it up a little bit here and there? But anyway, that's all I got for you. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye. Stay safe and stay healthy out there.